Well, hello, I'm Dr. Cheryl Fraser. Here we are at our first stop in the Passion Triangle and the Summer of Love. If you watched last week's video, if not, you can go watch it. I talked about the roadmap for the vehicle of our relationship on the journey of life. And the roadmap I use as your love mechanic this summer is looking at three key aspects that research and clinical activity show predicts extraordinary relationship. Extraordinary relationship is pretty darn rare, sadly and tragically. Your multiple questions have let me know how much you're struggling, how much you're looking for guidance, and how much you crave a more passionate, fun, connected, loving relationship. What are those three things. Intimacy, the emotional, connected communication part. Thrill, the excitement, the, uh, the, well, the thrill, being excited to see each other, and sensuality, the whole erotic and sensual spectrum. Today, I'm going to focus on one of your questions from the intimacy side of the passion triangle. This comes from Donna. She says, I do have a question for your Summer of Love series. What activities can my husband and I do to enhance our emotional intimacy and closeness? She says, this is more in terms of opening up, getting deeper with communication topics, and getting to know more about him. Bingo. Thank you, Donna. Great question. I'm going to give you a few tips that all of you can begin right away. I dive much more deeply into this in my more um, detailed teachings, but we can all start right now and make small or significant changes. The first thing is, here we are, it's the summer of love. My assistant Leo and I, my friend Leo and I, we've been trapped inside filming love bites, not getting any close to each other for months. Out adventuring, experiencing the world is one of the most beautiful overlooked ways to increase the intimate connection between you and your sweetheart. Research shows that when you go do something interesting, different, out of your routine or adventurous, going for a drive, topless, the car, not me, people, uh, on a beautiful day down to the local marina is significantly different enough from hanging around eating toast in your living room that it can charge up your sense of emotional intimacy. But Donna's question is more specific than that. She says, what activities can we do to enhance our emotional intimate intimacy and closeness? Here's a couple more things I want you to try. First of all, one of the things my sweetheart and I really thrive at, when we've kind of not had a chance to connect or there's a disconnect or a bump in our road and we're feeling like we're not really communicating very well, is one of the things that works really well for us is to go for a good long hike with the dogs. It's a chance to talk to each other without that pressure of sitting across from each other and saying, we need to talk about our relationship, which is always a very bad bid for an opening conversation. What we do is we go for a hike, maybe 90 minutes, two hours long. As you can see, I live in a spectacular place. This is a kilometer from my house. And somehow, Being in the woods, not facing each other, eyeball to eyeball, all that tension of, you know, what if, what if, we relax way more and we talk more deeply and we don't have an agenda. These are purposeless conversations with the idea of catching up with each other, enhancing our emotional connection. Uh, And often we end up talking about difficult things we've been a little nervous to bring up day to day, haven't had the time, don't want to bring them up at midnight, made that mistake way too many times, never ends well. So what I'm suggesting Donna and all of us do is go on a hike or whatever your variation is, but where you're active, where you're not sitting down and just talk, you know, how are you doing? Are you feeling good about us these days? If there was one thing you'd like me to be doing differently, there's a great question. Write that one down. If there's one thing you'd like me to do do differently these days, what would it be? Um, what's worrying you these days? I often call this ask interesting questions. So you can practice asking interesting questions to enhance that emotional closeness and intimacy. Now, rest assured, this is just a tiny little snippet, way more teachings to come. I just finished uh, my uh, three month long course with a whole bunch of couples going more deeply into this stuff. You don't have to get it all today. If you know someone that would benefit from this Love Bite video, please send it along to them. I'd invite them to the Summer of Love relationship series. And remember, no matter what's happening on your road of life, it's not always going to be perfect. It's what you do when you hit the hard stuff that matters. So thanks for joining me today. In next week's video, Love Bite, we're going to look at the second side of the passion triangle, which is thrill. And I'm going to answer one of your questions about that. Please send me your questions, Dr. Cheryl at drcherylfraser.com. The click link is below, and I'll be answering all summer long because you matter, your relationship matters, and your unique things you're struggling with are what I'm here to help you with. So for now, 
I'm going to jump in the car, take a ride, go to our next destination, and see what happens when we explore the topic of thrill. Thanks so much. I look forward to seeing you next week.